All right. You ready? <laughs> you make me laugh, and we haven't even started yet. go through here? He doesn't say anything and he makes me laugh. <laughs> hey guys. Hello. Hi. Well, as you no doubt have probably seen in our introduction video, we're getting ready to go to New York City Ooh. for the fifth time. And it, it's a city that means a lot to us because it's the place we got married in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this video is just kind of hitting the high points of our previous visits to New York City. And uh, of course, we've done all the touristy stuff there. We did most of that the first time we were there. Yeah, where all did we go? Uh, Statue of Liberty, mm -hmm. Empire State Building, where the line was massive. Oh yes, it was It was uh, spring break week for a lot of students, and they were all there. Took, uh, we were in that line for like two hours. At least. At least, before we finally got up to the uh, 96th floor, I think. I'm, I don't know, wherever, where, wherever the observation deck is up there. But one thing we have not done there is uh, the top of One World Trade, which it was still under construction all the previous times that we were there. But now it's open, and we're going to do it this coming time. So that's something you have to look forward to in the, in the videos that are upcoming. Uh, we've seen a lot of shows while we were up there, too. We, we went to uh, The Late Show with David Letterman twice, and uh, we went to The Late Show with Stephen Colbert last year. So that's three times we've been inside the uh, Ed Sullivan Theater. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's we're... There's that one time we went to Dr. Oz. Oh, no. That was terrible. I hate that show. It's a terrible show, but it was a studio audience and we were in it. Uh, don't take health advice from Dr. Oz. Sorry if that offends you. That's just my opinion. We saw Seth Meyers once. Yes, and we're going to be there again. We'll be in the audience on September 5th. So... Tune into your NBC station on September 5th, and you might see us there in the audience late night with Seth Meyers. The Daily Show and the Nightly Show. Yeah, we, we went to the Daily Show and the Nightly Show. Back when the Nightly Show was it still a thing. Yeah, unfortunately, that show went way too soon. It went in the middle of the election last year, and we needed that show <laughs> to get us through it. Well, we took the NBC tour last year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if you ever find yourself in New York City, take the NBC tour at uh, 30 Rock. It's a wonderful experience. You get to you get to make your own TV show. And while it's obviously it's not the best TV show ever, at least you get to have some fun for a few minutes. But the whole tour is fun. It's interesting looking at the inner workings of a network. You know, I mean, we work in TV, and we work at a small station, so uh, it's fun to see what a big operation looks like. <laughs> yes. And uh, there's one more thing to mention is that the week we're up there, it's going to be this one's birthday. He's turning 30-something. <laughs> is that what all the birthdays become? Yeah. This 30-something? I guess so. Yeah. But uh, we're going to be at Carmine's, one of our favorite New York City restaurants, 44th Street near Times Square. And, uh, ooh, you got a fly laying on you. <laughs> 44th Street near Times Square, and we'll be there on September the 6th, which is his birthday. Happy early birthday. <laughs> we'll be there that night, uh, probably around 10-ish, 10.30, having dinner. The best spaghetti and meatballs you could ever imagine are there. Well, there is one other thing to talk about. How could I forget this? Let's see, well, the, first, the let's see, we've, we've stayed in Queens a couple of times. Yes. We were in the Bronx once. Yes. But last year we, we, we did the Airbnb thing. Oh, yes, and we met two of our nicest friends, 
Keith and Francois. Yes, and we're going to stay with them again this time. Yes, and we're going to introduce you guys to them. Yes, I. They're they're two of the nicest. They're, they're a couple as well. And funny thing, and I don't think they mind me saying this, is that we were the first gay couple to ever stay with them in their Airbnb. They hadn't had one before us. I don't know if they've had one since we've been there last year, but they were so excited to have us, and uh, I think they're excited to have us again. Yeah. They had a lot of singles, a lot of straight couples, but they never had a gay couple before. That's, that's interesting, considering, you know, it's New York City, you know. But, uh, hey, we like to break molds. We like to break precedents. We'll, we'll tell the wedding story in another video, you know, uh, April 17th of 2015. That's a story for a whole other video in and of itself. That's the most special day of my life. They I'll never forget the day when we became one. <laughs> and I love this man. You like you wouldn't believe. I'm gonna get all sappy and ugly cry on this video. <laughs> Save that for another video. Yes, I cried during the wedding. You'll hear that story too. Spoiler alert. <laughs> but anyway, that's all for now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else you want to tell them? The usual, the usual spiel. What's the usual spiel? <laughs> If you like this video, hit like, hit the thumbs up button, leave us comments below. Yes, subscribe if you haven't already so you can see all our future videos too. So that's all. Uh, we'll see you on the next video on our trip to New York City. Yep, you'll be with us on the train ride next video. So stay tuned for that. That's all for now. Bye. Bye. You're always on my mind.